All right, what's up everybody and welcome back to another really cool video. In this video, I'm gonna show you my setup for my camera that I use while filming weddings, while filming uh, brand videos, promotion videos, you name it. It's a really cool setup. And straight away guys, I want to say that this is not my own creation. As always, I'm also searching on YouTube and I came across wedding school films and they showed me this setup. I bought it immediately and I am very happy. So let's go to the setup. All right, so the first thing uh, for my setup I bought is this cage, all right? I put my Sony a7 III in the cage. It's very strong. And then you can start to build around your cage, your setup. All right, so I have my camera already in the cage. The next thing that I did is, uh, of course, I have an ND filter. And why do I have an ND filter? On bright days when it is really sunny, um, I put this one on my lens and when I turn around, I can decide how many light is coming into my lens and I can have the right shutter speed as well. It is not necessary to have one. For my use, I really like it. So I bought one and I will put it on my lens. That's it. All right, the next step that I do is I have this small rig handle right here. And guys, this is, it looks really cool. It's a really strong wooden handle and it's just really helpful when you want to hold your camera with both hands. All right, so at the side of my camera right up here, you see that I already uh, screwed up the other plate of the handle. You just screw it in. There you go. So halfway we screw it in and then you can decide how you want to uh, have your handle. All right, so let me say, I always test this by really feeling what is uh, natural, not too straight like this. All right, so you see, Second thing on my setup is done. Then the next thing, uh, because I also have a Shinobi, Atomos Shinobi, I made another tutorial about the Shinobi Atomos. Uh, it's really nice. I'm still very happy. The next thing that I do is I screw this on my camera, on my cage. So I have a little thing right up here where my monitor is going on. So a really, the cool thing about this thing is that if I turn this back, I can easily swap, swap it to the front and to the back. All right, I will show you. So let's screw the monitor on it. All right, so we tighten up our monitor and what I really like about this tiny thing that I already told you guys, if I want to tilt it, so let's loosen it up a little bit. If I want to tilt it, I can do that really quick. So let's do this, all right? But if I'm low to the ground and I want to see on my monitor, I can tilt it also backwards, all right? So that's something that I really love. Tied it up again and you can go with any uh, fear of that it might fall off, all right? So then we have our HDMI cable and my HDMI cable, we just put it, let me see, under the cage right up here. Then put it in the right, come on. All right, so it is in it. Then I will turn it around once, twice. And I put it in. <laughs> so no cables around, just a really clean setup. Right, so important thing as well is I simply have my Sony a7 III strap, right? It's good enough for me. So you can put it on your neck and you can say that you are almost ready to go. But guys, if you, and I try this, all right? I try this 
And it's really nice because I have this handle right up here. So if you're doing this the whole day, you will have so much pain in your neck after a whole day filming. So then I came across that video and that guy saved literally my neck because he had a really cool setup. All right, I'm gonna show it to you right now. This is it. And um, I will put everything below on the link so that you can check it out as well. It is basically a thing for over your shoulder. It's a shoulder pad and there you can put your camera on. But turn it around, uh, bought a little uh, between plate with some screws and these two metal, um, how do you say that, surroundings. And the thing is you want to push it to your hips around this area. Now the cool thing is coming because I have another really uh, nice plate from small rig and this plate you screw it on your cage. All right so let's do that. All right so screw it onto your cage. Ta -da! So there you go and now we have two holes up here. And that is where you push in these two things. <laughs> Ta -da! Tied it up. And look at here. Put it around your neck. And guys, there you go. Easy, right? It is so really nice to film. You have a really stable uh, footage you can be really quick I'm um, most of the time if I do like nothing and I'm just watching some people I'm um, just chilling like this talking a little bit and then if I feel like I need to film something I am really quick everywhere with this setup yeah so now we have this setup and I really love it all right but guys it's still around my neck uh, but I hold this into my hips or into my the side of my yeah what is it belly and I push it a little bit so the weight is a little bit off my neck you can also pull your arm under the strap so you have a shoulder strap but for me it's the neck is just fine and um, yeah guys so let's just put it on uh, I hope that you enjoy this setup um, and I really want to thank the Wedding Film School for showing us this great setup. Uh, I hope that you had fun, that you learned something today. If you want to check it out, just click on the link below. And yeah, I'm going to check you in my next video. See you later.